Today's sunshine note is titled, The Last Shot. Be good friends who love deeply. Practice playing second fiddle. Romans chapter 12 verse 10. My nephew Davy had been friends with Dylan since they were little kids. Now it was their senior year of high school. Dylan had played baseball through the years, but this year he had signed up for basketball tryouts. Davy was co-captain of the team, so the coach asked for his advice. Should we put Dylan on the team? He asked Davy. Yeah, let's give him a chance, Davy said. Dylan wasn't that great during tryouts, but the coach put him on the team and used him mainly for practices. During a game, the coach would let him play the last few minutes if it looked like they were going to win or lose by a large margin. Then came senior night, the final game night when players were brought onto the court with their parents and recognized for their achievements. It was a big night. Toward the end of the game, Davy's team was way ahead of the rival team. All at once, the students in the stand began chanting, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. They wanted him to play one last time. He had not scored a point all year long. If he was going to, this was his last chance. Someone passed the ball to Dylan when he was wide open for a layup, but he missed the basket. Now there were only 30 seconds left in the game. Davy was driving in for a layup when he saw Dylan out of the corner of his eye. He had to make a split-second decision. Would he end his own high school basketball career by making the final point of the final game? Or would he pass the ball to Dylan, giving him one last chance? Davy passed the ball to Dylan. Dylan positioned himself for the shot. Swoosh! It dropped through the net. The crowd went crazy. All the players gathered around Dylan, slapping him on the back and congratulating him. He had made his first basket and the team's last points. Davy told me that looking back on that night, he would do it all over again. What were just two more points on his record compared to the look of triumph on Dylan's face? As today's text says, To be a good friend, we have to love deeply and practice playing second fiddle. I know we're not used to aiming for second fiddle. But when we learn to play that part well, we discover that it makes us first rate. Be good friends who love deeply. Practice playing second fiddle. Romans chapter 12 verse 10. May God bless you today.